Well, it's been a few months since Mike Chi graced us with the newly revised RetroTank 2X Pro. This little unit has been my go-to for both my Neo Geo and Duo RX. I use component cables on both systems and the 480p output from the RetroTank 2X looks great on my LCD. Of course, you all know the true benefit is also that the signal you're now working with is essentially lagless. Looking back on when the first RetroTank was unveiled, it was a great first offering, but there were really two major asks after the dust had settled. The first was no RGB support. I personally never cared about this, but I know it was an important feature for many others. This was eventually addressed with the introduction of the 2X SCART, which is currently for sale and carries a $95 price tag. The second issue was scan lines, and again, it wasn't something I was personally invested in. It never appealed to me on a digital set, but I know other people wanted this, had asked for it, and Mike delivered that option with the RetroTank 2X Pro. With both of these requests put to bed, I began seeing another common ask. Why doesn't the RetroTank 2X support 480p? Well, Mike went back to work and delivered yet again. This is the 2X multi-format and it supports 480p. No more switching cables or plugging, unplugging. For those of you who need 480p support, your solution is here. Now it's funny because this is now three for three on features that I never really felt I was missing out on. I'll occasionally play some GameCube, but for the most part, I use my hacked Wii U for that these days, and most of you already know that I'm not a PlayStation guy, I don't own a Wii, and so 480p never really was too much of a factor for me, but for the third time now, my wants and needs don't represent the masses, and I know some of you out there were really hoping for 480p support, and here it is. Sadly, implementing support for 480p required a full redesign of the RetroTank 2X. Mike told me he really wished he could have implemented this via firmware and tossed it out for free to everybody, but it wasn't that simple of a process, unfortunately. So just to recap, if you attempted to load a 480p signal in the past with the RetroTank 2X Pro, you were treated to something like this, and well, I just can't play F-Zero that way. Loading the game up again and using the original GameCube component cables here with the 2X Multi, we get the properly produced progressive picture we expected. Something to note, when accepting the 480p signal, the 2x multi-format will always be in bilinear filtering mode. So this might not be the best use case because there are some decent HDMI options out there for the GameCube, but it's a console I have out and hooked up right now, so I thought I'd use it as my demo system here for the 2x multi-format. As far as filters go, when using 480p as an input, you only have the one default, which is the bilinear filtering mode we mentioned earlier. If using a 240p or 480i input, the smoothing filter that was available on the RetroTank 2X Pro is now absent on the 2X Multi. Your two options are sharp pixels or sharp pixels with artificial scan lines. Once again, I've never been a fan of smoothing the image on an HD TV, but you may feel differently about that. In my opinion, if one of those two modes had to go, I think that was the correct choice. The last thing I want to call out here is that I noticed just an ever so slightly softer picture with the 2X Multi than I did with the RetroTank 2X Pro. I honestly couldn't tell initially if it was a placebo effect because of having the new unit connected, and there were times when I'd go back and second guess myself and stare at a title screen or logo, something like that. So that's just kind of the minuscule level we're talking about here. I did eventually just give up and ask Mike and he confirmed that the line doubling on the 2X Multi is indeed just a tad softer than the original models. So that's my take on the 2X Multi format. It's an entirely new hardware entry into the RetroTINK line of products and one that I think meets the need for that last group of individuals still yearning for 480p support. The device will retail for $129, same as the RetroTINK 2X Pro. As for whether or not this is for you, it really is pretty straightforward in my mind. Are you a high volume user of 480p? If the answer is yes, and you've been eyeing a scaler, this is probably the unit for you. On the other hand, if you have a RetroTINK 2X Classic or a Pro unit, and you're happy with it, you're like me and you wouldn't log a lot of 480p hours, or you're in love with the smoothing filter, then it definitely just makes sense to stick with one of those original units. So like I said, pretty straightforward decision here if you're looking at these scalers from Mike. 
I know some people will be upset that all of these features couldn't be packed together under one roof, but to me, I have everything I want in the Pro model. I'm happy with it. I love the simplicity of just turning it on and playing. And I suspect if you are wanting to branch out to have all of those different options at your disposal, you're probably looking at the OSSC anyways. So I appreciate that this is a turn on and forget solution and that Mike has provided a variety of options for you to choose what's right for you. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. A short video on Mike Chi's latest RetroTINK 2X offering, the 2X multi-format. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.